Welcome back everyone to Pontus Phantom Hobbies. This is Season 6, Episode 5 of Battlestar Galactica, the board game. Uh, we have got the main board game on and we're playing with the Pegasus expansion. We've also got the um, Exodus and um, the Amanecer Daybreak expansion on the board. Uh, we had a great round number 4. Lots of uh, Cylon and... Uh, human fleet activity um, we had a jump that got us one step closer to new caprica we are now on um our camp of the asteroids so i think we've got our total of four points so far we need seven to get to new caprica and as i mentioned uh, in the game setup we had played this probably back during the um played this uh, scenario pegasus expansion back during the pandemic and we never actually got to land our piece on New Caprica, so we're trying to get to the New Caprica and uh, use that uh, feed those features. So before we jump into round five, uh, we've got Cavill in the flotilla Cylon. We've got Caprica as a friendly Cylon. Uh, she is over in the Rebel uh, base star. We've got Chief Terrell in the hangar, Kara Thrace and Apollo on patrol. Apollo has become the president while Bagaius Baltar is in prison. Carathrace is now the CAG, and uh, Saul Tai is still the admiral. So let's jump into round number five. Before we do, quick shout out to this uh, channel's sponsor. As you guys know, we're not monetized, but you can go check out our bookstore where we have August Moldenhauer's Artificial Psychology of Desiring Machines. Never uh, before have we been in a time where AI is so influencing our lives. We have the rise of things like ChatGPT, uh, Google's Gen AI, uh, Lambda models, um, all kinds of AI updates that are happening. And each day there seems to be another application of this where we have it integrated closer and closer. Now, Flames of Battlestar Galactica, we know the cautionary tale that Battlestar Galactica has with the Cylons. You can check out Impedance and Mittens and Desiring Machines. It talks not only about the rise of general AI, but the way technology makes us somewhat more robotic. We all have phones in our pockets, for example. Computational complexity and psychiatric agency. This is the concept of the possibility of not only a psychiatric computational algorithm, but also the idea that can a machine become a, a therapist? And then finally, the psychoanalysis for artificial intelligence. Digging deep into the origins of general AI and including things like film uh, as artificial memory, and there's a chapter here on Cylons, the machinic desires of the analyst, as, along with replicants from Blade Runner, uh, synthetic life forms from the Alien franchise, uh, Ava from um, Ex Machina, Pinocchio, and then talking about Lacan, Terminators, HAL 9000, uh, Deleuze Cin Cinema, and uh, Technics in Time by Bernard Stiglier. So, Check this out. We've also got the hardcover edition of it. Artificial Psychoanalysis of Desiring Machines by August Moldenhauer. Uh, introduction to the series and forwards by William A. Mitchell, edited by Mitchell, and will help to support our channel very much. Uh, liking and subscribing also helps. You can check out our Patreon for as little as a dollar, and you can go over and listen to some of those podcasts on the other channel. So uh, some of that content will be about Battlestar Galactica too. So go over there and take a look if you're interested in sci-fi and psychology mashing it up. Uh, it's the place for you. Thanks to our subscribers and our Patreons. Let's jump into round number five. Okay, we're starting back at the top of the lineup with Gaius Baltar. I need to shuffle these green cards. We'll give him a leadership. We'll give him two political cards and an engineer card. Uh, Gaius will try to escape from uh, prison here. So let's give him uh, support from his fellow support from his fellow teammates. Uh, we'll go ahead with Gaius himself. We'll place uh, let's give himself a four. This is the second time Gaius has gone to the the uh, put two cards from the maze the destiny deck. Uh, place one from him and Kara Thrace 
Cavill. Cavill would inadvertently help him. Caprica 6 will help him actually also. Okay, so let's go ahead and reveal what he's got. We've got a 1 against him, and then 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, minus 1 is 13. Okay, so guys, Baltar is free from prison. Uh, he will move to the laboratory of um, the laboratory for now, and we'll place these in the discard. Uh, we will go ahead and grab Gaius Baltar's um, accused of being a traitor. Again, this is Baltar. This is when when Gina, uh, uh, I think her name was Gina, right? She was like the she was calling him out as the traitor. So it was, it was a different. It's a different uh, uh, six than Caprica six. Well, let's go ahead and uh, grab two cards from the Destiny deck, and we'll see if we get this. Uh, the loser goes to prison, by the way. So this might be the third time that doesn't guys Baltar go to prison uh, three times in the in the series. G guys, leave a comment below if you if you confirm that. So Baltar, Saltai, uh, Apollo, Thrace. Cavill, six, uh, and Ellen Ty. Okay, we'll shuffle these up. We're only on two in the jump track here, so let's go ahead and see. We got zero, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Minus five is the eleven. Minus one is nine, so uh, he is free. He is not um, not convicted, but we do get to move our Cylon. Let's move the Cylon. We'll have the Cylon attack one of the Vipers. Get a five. One of the Vipers here sent to the um, disabled area, and we will get to advance our. Um, get to advance the track for um, the countdown for the jump clock. Jump clock gets forwarded. Let's move on to Admiral Saul Ty. Um, let's have him uh, go ahead and Let's go ahead and have him check for traitors. He's going to be able to check for traitors. Uh, Ellen Tai is not a Cylon, so he proves his wife is not a Cylon. And she's also not one of the final five, so uh, those are her cards. Let's go and give Saul his cards. Leadership and tactics. I always liked Saul's role on the new Caprica series. Uh, let's go ahead and grab his crisis card. Um, Dogsville. The president uh, gets to choose if we have minus one to population and minus one to food or minus two to food. So minus one to population, minus one to food might be better. Oh, oh, we roll a die. Okay, let's have him go roll with the die. Okay, at four or lower, we get minus two to food. Let's go with this one, four or lower, nothing. Okay, we get an eight, so uh, he dodges it. So we, we rolled and gambled. He went uh, with this one. Saltai rolled the hard six, as they say, and avoids any um, any issues. We do get to have um, Saltai can attack with this Viper and misses let's have the Cylons will, will capitulate they will attack with the base star against Galactica also missing and we will have a jump clock advance Soltai he's in the uh, jump let's have him just try to do a jump just to clear clear the Cylons out so let's try to force a jump here um, if he rolls let's just see what we what he has to roll here 
uh, to force the jump at a minus three. Why not? Let's just try to have, have him roll the jump. He's in the jump thing. Uh, let's just see what the jump is. Okay, so he'll go ahead and roll. And he is able to hit the jump clock. And we will reset the jump clock. Cylons are out. Viper goes back to Galactica. Uh, Hangar goes back. Um, Cylons go back. And we get a new card. So we are now on the road to... Let's see what we got here. The next card. So we've got already got four points. We've got... Um, Planet of Algae. We get one food, but we lose one fuel. So fuel's down to five, and now we're up to four, five. We need seven. So New Caprica, we're at four out of the seven. So it could be later this turn. It could be next turn. Let's see what, what happens with our, uh, with our cards. So let's move on to... Uh, Lee Adama, Admiral, uh, President Lee Adama, he gets a tactics, two, one and one, and pilot cards. And we need to shuffle up our tactics cards from the discard pile. And we also need to repopulate our deck of destiny there. So we'll repopulate that, shuffle it up, because you can see there's no more deck of destiny cards so we'll shuffle these and again I think it's 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 Lee's best move to go ahead and launch his Viper um, he will go ahead and get his um, uh, okay the Admiral can decide whether on a four less, we minus one fuel, or we can gain minus one fuel, and or gain one. So okay, again, we're gonna roll the die again, and we get a four, six. Six means we do not lose the food, but we do get to advance the jump clock, and Lee turn. This turn goes to Carathrace. Carathrace is now up. Uh, she will also launch from the hangar. Uh, she is also going to uh, spawn to Vipers as well. And we'll grab her Crisis card. Um, the Mysterious God. This is Leo Ben when he had Carathrace in prison. So let's see what happens when we want. If we lose, we get minus one to morale. So let's go ahead and we'll grab two from the deck of destiny. Kara Thrace gets her cards of two tactic, two pilots. And one. Uh, let's see what she's got. Then we need yellow and green to build this over 11. Um, okay, she can put one in. Let's go to Cavill. She can put one in. Caprica 6 is out, uh, Galen is in, uh, Ellen Ty is in, um, he's in, Saul Ty also in, A Apollo, I can just put this in to balance it out, let's shuffle these up and see if we can get to 11. Okay, if we win, we can jump clock plus one. So let's see, we got um, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 17, 
17, 16, 15. Oh, it was getting close there, but we, we get guided through and the jump clock advanced by one. So the jump clock is advanced. There's no Cylons on the board, so we'll move the turn over to Cavill. Uh, Cavill will go ahead and Yeah, so he's going to do his standard trick. He's running the Armada. Let's have Cavill go ahead and he's going to place a base star once again in Galactica. So it's ever chasing Galactica, kind of like that 33 episode, right? We've got base stars coming in. Uh, Cavill, uh, we'll skip him for playing the card. We do get to attack with the base star. Uh, and we get a damage to Galactica. And we'll move these ahead. We'll check out a damage token here. Uh, we'll grab one randomly from the bag. And we get a damage to uh, the Galactica's arms control. So that's not good. Oh, but we still have our fleet in motion here. Uh, let's move on to uh, Caprica 6. Caprica 6, she will go ahead and um, she's going to get to grab an extra uh, card for her turn. Uh, she also has leadership and engineer. So let's have her grab those. Uh, we will shuff up these political cards uh, for her action. Uh, uh, she's able to also check for traders. She's going to check Tyrrell. Tyrrell is not a Cylon. So we confirm that Ellen Ty, Galen Tyrrell, they are also not Cylons. We'll move to Galen Tyrrell. He's got political card, two leadership cards, two engineering cards. Uh, let's have him also, again, launching uh, two... Uh, Vipers. Let's check out these Vipers as well. Let's do one and one here. We got these painted up. If you want to go check out that painting video we did of these. Uh, this was a fun paint through that we had done because it was, they're tiny, but they, they look great uh, painted up. So let's go ahead and have the crisis card come in. It's the, uh, uh, this is the Temple of the Five. Temple of the Five. If you success, he's going to get two cards. Um, if we lose, we lose. So we'll, we'll, we'll deal with losing later. Let's try to win it. We'll grab two cards from the uh, the deck here. Uh, Galen Tyrrell will come in purple and blue. Uh, Ellen Ty. Guys, Boltar. Saul. Adama, Kara. Okay, let's shuffle these up. We'll see if the Temple of the Five. And we get minus one, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we pass, it gets two cards. Let's go have, have him grab two of these. I'll add him to his thing. Uh, the fleet gets to attack. So let's have the Cylons moving in. Uh, we will have the uh, base star attack with a two. And we'll have the Cylon raiders, nothing to attack here. We'll have them flying around. Let's, uh, they will fly around to enter, engage with the Vipers. Uh, we'll put these in the discard. And finally, we moving on to Ellen Tai. Ellen Tai gets two politics, two leader. And a trader card. Ellen Ty will go ahead and uh, let's have her move to the CIC and she's going to also launch two Vipers. And these Vipers will get also launched and these will get to move here to engage with the Cylons at the frontier. 
so these Cylons and these Vipers can engage. Uh, let's go ahead and grab her Crisis card. Uh, the CAG can decide to have an, another base star come into the thing with three Vipers. I guess the CAG decides yes. The base star, uh, oh, but it gets to be behind with uh, and two Raiders and two civilian ships as well. So let's go ahead and work this out. Uh, we can move these in the, let's have the Vipers will attack the base star. Vipers attacking the base star. Let's see, that's uh, Viper. Actually, he's gonna call the family, um, The he can do the atomics on this one. We can use atomics for that, and then for the Vipers, we'll roll eight and six. These two are destroyed, and we'll also do the last three, six and three, two, and then we can have one attack by the Cylons, seven, one of the Vipers is also damaged, and that is going to do that. And we don't get a jump out of this one, but that's gonna wrap it up for turn number Five. We'll see you guys in turn number six. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.